Hello, this is Ray, and we're here now at the mock election. This is going to be a short uh, demonstration between a Republican and a Democrat side. It is going to be civil, fair, and honest. So let's go ahead and get started with introductions. First, we have uh, Noah Anderson representing Trump, Isabella Balderas representing Kamala Harris, Zoe Silva representing Kamala Harris, Lucas Featherston representing Donald J. Trump, Jack Dutton representing Kamala J. Harris. Donald Trump is a sexual abuser, felon, and creep. Kamala Harris is a prosecutor, vice president, and upstanding American. Kamala Harris is running to be president for all Americans, while Donald Trump is running to be a president of rich Americans. I'm glad this debate is happening because it is important to, for Americans to have discussions, especially from two people on the opposite sides of political aisles. When we have civil discussions, we stop polarization from happening in our country. We must unite as Americans to maintain our democracy. I'm not going to repeat the same tired mantra of the economy being terrible, about America's reputation across the world being destroyed. I'm here today to defend the soul of this nation. What you've been hearing from every mainstream media outlet, every college, every teacher, and Donald Trump's former friends and allies is a smear on him, his supporters, and the people of this country. This election goes beyond Democrat and Republican, like Kamala Harris said. However, it's because the Democratic and Republican parties have been ripping off this country for the past 50 years. At the moment, Donald Trump has been so successful at his goals, they've resorted to political violence, intimidation, and censorship. Harris has supported a single-payer health system, also various, called Medicare for All. This concept will provide for universal health care coverages while removing private insurance for most Americans. Each American would have to pay healthcare services, but also not including prevented, prevented care, mental health services, and access to prescription medication. Vice President Harris is fighting for reproductive rights for the safety of na the nation's women, while Trump is actively works endangering American women and putting them in position while they have to carry the fetus of the victim, while they're victims of sexual assault, to term. Want to talk health care? Let's talk about the chronic disease epidemic in this country. Over 50% of adults in America have a kind of chronic disease, and it consumes 85% of health care costs. I'm talking about obesity, heart disease, and uh, cancer. The Trump administration has unveiled a revolutionary bipartisan plan with RFK Jr., a Democrat, coming onto our side to deal with this. They're going to create credible studies regarding high fructose corn syrup and other processed foods. Um, through the FDA, and they're also going to end subsidies on large farming corporations and um, uh, end cor crop insurance such as corn and soybeans, which causes uh, the overproduction of corn syrup in American society, which causes obesity. Kamala Harris will focus on creating more small businesses, keeping money local, and not letting multinational corporations dominate the marketplace. Over the Biden-Harris uh, administration, 70% of all jobs created were small businesses. And Vice President Harris will expand this if elected. Kamala Harris wants to raise taxes on the ultra-wealthy so they pay their share. Trump wants to, and has, lowered taxes for his billionaire friends. The middle class pays a higher percentage of their paycheck than these billionaires do. Donald Trump wants to keep his billionaire friends happy at the sake of our American people. During the Biden-Harris administration, immigrants have been fleeing the land of poverty to come to the nation of poverty plus. Our nation is no longer the land of opportunity that it was in years past. Additionally, the minimum annual salary to be able to own a home has gone from $75,000 a year to $120,000 a year. The amount of people looking for a job is now equal to the amount of jobs available. Mortgage rates have gone from 2.77 under Trump to 7.75 under Biden. I mean, gas is up by $3 now compared to it was under Trump. No matter how much the government tries to cover up the failing economy, we, the American people, know because we are suffering.
Kamala Harris has shown her tough stance on immigration to fight for strong border security while Donald Trump, Trump kills a bill that would protect Americans from cartels and human trafficking, a bill that, that Biden-Harris administration would have passed. In regards to equality, Harris has a Democratic Party believe, believe that no matter race, creed, sexuality, or gender, you are equal. Trump makes his stance on equality abundantly clear when he takes a woman's choice over their own body away. Under the Biden-Harris administration, we have had a record amount of illegal immigrants come into this country, with some estimates claiming that we have over 20 million illegal aliens living within our borders. This is putting stress on our public services as we have to provide health care, housing, and food for these people. In addition, Kamala Harris is going to worsen the problem by giving $25,000 a year to first-generation home buyers, which will attract more illegal immigration. Under second Trump administration, there would be a crackdown on illegal immigration, which would help ease the stress on our services and provide work for American citizens. Additionally, my mom's an immigrant. She's a two-time Trump voter. Trump is an anti-immigrant. He's just pro-America. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true.